Yeah, I know, I get what you're saying. I didn't with Narc 1, because Narc 1 was the covert narcissist, so his love bombing game and his I've got this, I've got that, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, we'll go here, we'll go there, chap was ace, right? You'd obviously practiced it over many years and had used it on lots and lots and lots of women. Um, so he, there was nothing about him I would have changed. Even when it started coming out that he'd lied about his status, he'd lied about his money, he'd lied about his debts, he'd lied about his flat. Obviously I thought, God, I wish you hadn't lied, but I didn't want to fundamentally change him and who he was. Um, I was genuinely blissfully in love and I wasn't even trauma bonded. I don't know if I ever got trauma bonded to him. I think I just had codependency. Um, but with narc too, because what he tried to use to seduce me because he's an overt somatic narc, what he used was his charm in terms of his sort of charisma, his arrogance, his hypersexuality, um, his appearance, you know, a gym, he was an avid gym goer. Um, he used all the classic Casanova psychopath elements to hook me. There was a lot about his life. I absolutely, right at the beginning, thought, oh, I, wish he, I wish he was more ambitious. I wish he did, you know, drink like a normal person and we could go out. I wish he had more money. I wish he didn't have all these exes and all these kids. I wish he didn't, you know, and all that sort of stuff. There was a lot about him. I, you know, I wish he was cleaner and tidier, you know, um, before the discards and the trauma bond. But I've, I've had a habit of doing that with men my whole life. I, I always go for who's really beneath me and who's got very little to offer me. And I tend to go in with a huge amount to offer um, but that's how I was brought up. That was my parents' uh, dynamic, how they met, who my mum was when she met my dad. She went in with the money and the status and the ideas and the ambition and the brains and the drive. And my dad just went along for the ride. But my mum absolutely adored my dad in t initially in terms of his charisma and his charm and his wit. And he was funny and he was sexy and he was good looking. And you do tend to, well, you do, you repeat the patterns of the people that created you and taught you how what is normal and what uh, you never realise it's not normal until a lot, lot later when it's too late.